In this video, we're going to graph each of these functions and its parent function, and then describe the transformation. If we look at letter A, we have g of x equals 2 times the absolute value of x. That tells us that this is an absolute value equation, and its parent function, we'll call it f of x, equals the absolute value of x. So we're going to go ahead and graph this and see what it looks like. And we're going to use Desmos for this one, so you can see how to do it there, too. So here we have Desmos pulled up. So we're going to go ahead and type in the absolute value, so ABS, parentheses, X, and that's going to give us our parent function. So here we see that this is what our parent function for an absolute value looks like. So now we want to graph our G of X which is 2 times, so 2 times the absolute value of x. And now if we look at this, we see that our equation, our function, is narrower. So it has vertically been stretched by a factor of 2. Let's go back to our graph and sketch that. So we know that our absolute value parent function started at 0, 0, and then went up, went over 1. And we know that our g of x, when we graphed that, that it was narrower by a factor of 2. So we can write that it had a vertical stretch by a factor of 2. Let's look at B. Here we have an h of x, which equals 1 half of x squared. Now, Because it's an x squared, that tells us that this is a quadratic equation. And so its parent function is f of x equals x squared. So let's go ahead and graph that, and let's see what that looks like. This time we're going to use our graphing calculator. So we're going to go to the y equals, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to type in x squared for our parent function. Then we're going to go ahead and we're going to put in our new function. So we're going to go ahead and put in our fraction, 1 half x squared. Think about what that might do. How might that look? Let's graph it and see. So the red graph is our parent function, and the black graph is our h of x. It's our 1 half times x squared, and it looks wider. So that is going to be a vertical shrink. It's like we pull down the red closer to the x-axis to get that black graph. So let's write that down and sketch it. So here we go and we're going to sketch our graph. And we had our parent function. And then we had our h of x, which was wider than our parent function. So we had a vertical shrink by one half. 